Apple and John came to me, uh, uh, you know, with this idea. We were actually looking for and brainstorming about what could we do on sequels as a studio. And uh, we all know what Force did and uh, how, how it almost created a cult following when it came out in the first outing. Mm. And, uh, you know, then we were convinced that if we have to go the sequel route, then we should pick something which we can take to the next level. And that's how the journey of Force 2 started. And uh, that's how Force became Force 2, and that's how we are here. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, what we are hoping to bring to you is a scale that has not been seen before, a kind of quality, a kind of slickness, uh, uh, which has not been seen before, and uh, you know, a kind of look that will uh, interest you, that will make you feel that, okay, here is a film which is very similar to some of the big Hollywood titles that we have run, including Mission Impossible. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, I think, uh, I think it's, 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 it's just appropriate that I don't speak much because this film is what cinema is all about at its best in terms of the sound, in, in terms of the look and feel, in terms of the action and the scale. So I think the best thing is if you experience this in the trailer. Yeah. So let me now invite uh, Vipul here, my partner in crime, to come and join me here on this happy and exciting moment. Vipul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before I start talking about force, I'm a very proud Indian today because uh, our forces have done something which we all wanted to happen. I happen to be the producer of a film called Force, which talks about the man in uniform. This particular film deals with the forces, uh, just not army, but uh, raw, and of course, John is playing the cop that he was. But I'm very proud beyond my film that today happens to be the day when India has retaliated. So it's a very proud moment for me and I'm sure for all of us here. Uh, Force was a very uh, interesting film when we made the first one. Uh, me and John, that was our first collaboration. And now, uh, here we are with the sequel. Uh, one thing I want to very emphatically say that Force 2 has become Force 2 because of my partner in crime, Avinay Dev. Uh, the way he's directed the film, uh, the way he's shot it, the way he's taken performances from every individual actor, uh, the way he's handled the team, the crisis that we were in at various stages of the filmmaking. This has been one of the toughest film to make because of the circumstances that we were in. Uh, he is actually my partner, my producer partner, I would say, because very rarely you come across people who actually sacrifice everything that they have for the film that they want to make, the dream that they have seen. Uh, Avinay and me saw a certain vision of the film. And Avinay sacrificed his entire fee as a director to make sure that the vision was not compromised. And that is why Force will be seen or will look like the way it is going to look. Uh, also, I have uh, my uh, very dear friend and my favorite heroine, Sonakshi, after holiday, doing second film with me. And we've got Tahir, who is a fantastic actor. We've all seen him in Mardani. This is going to be his uh, second film, I think. And uh, uh, it's very exciting to see uh, John Sonakshi versus Tahir. It's a fantastic battle. We've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, apart from that, I've got some fantastic technicians. Um, all my HODs are here, but unfortunately, I can't see them. Uh, my team has been very, very supportive, spectacular. And they have taken Abhinay's vision as their vision and uh, kind of made it come real. Uh, I'll leave it at that and, sorry? Chalo, bhai, ye to mere hath mein nahi hai. But anyway, so I'll leave it at that and I will call my partner, Abhinay, to share his thoughts about the film and the vision that he saw. Abhinay.
Uh, first of all, thank you very much for all of you to come here. Um, and as Vipul said, that it is, uh, you know, a journey that is called Force 2. <clears throat> it started for all of us together about a year back, uh, about a year back, no, almost. Yeah, it feels like it feels like a lot more than that, but uh, about a year back. And um, I think, you know, I believe that whatever uh, starts well ends well. And I think that's exactly how this story began, where we all came together to say that we must make a very good statement with the sequel uh, of a film that already was a very big success to begin with. So we said that the, the sequel has to be bigger, better, um, and story-wise, taking it one step further. And I think uh, that's exactly what, um, you know, Vipul, me, John, Sonakshi, Tahir, and Vaikom, Ajit, uh, all of us put together, we have tried to do. And hopefully we have achieved it. Of course, no film can be complete. No, It's not a one-person's job. It's not a one-hero's uh, thing, how much ever we want to believe that. Uh, it's the team that matters, and I think we've really managed to put together a fantastic team, uh, whether it was shooting outside of India or whether it is shooting here. We have really, um, I think, some of the uh, technicians, the best technicians of the country have worked with us. Uh, it will show on the film, and uh, I'm 100% sure that all the efforts that we have put in uh, the hard work that has gone in from this team uh, will show up and you will enjoy seeing the film as much as uh, we have enjoyed making it. So thank you very much again for coming and uh, moving on to... Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you are. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, really looks exciting. It is um, a power-packed film. And trust me, of course, um, Ajit, Bipul and Abhine, it's time to get a lot of questions asked to these guys. Okay, so we're going to go on and here's the time where the questions are going to be asked and I'm going to get started with each one of them and then of course I'm going to give you a chance to uh, ask your questions. Okie dokies. Let's start off with Ajit. Ajit, simple. You've worked with John before on uh, Madras Cafe. Now, first two, what were the thoughts behind this? I mean, tell us about it. Tell us how it all came to your mind. See, the first, uh, the first thing that you look at uh, is that sequel is the lifeblood of a studio, you know. If you, can, if you can pull off a sequel, what you're doing is you're carrying a brand forward and forward, right? So the first thing that excited us in the idea was sequel. Second thing, I think, if you look at Force One, this film is a, is, is a big development in what the first film was. So while the first film was, you know, right here in this country, in, 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 the, in the world which is situated in how the police functions here, this film is actually going into a completely different world. It's going out, we've shot it in Budapest and around and you know this whole thing about going and exploring completely a different look and feel. I think that was very exciting because that clearly shows that this is how the sequel is moving forward. Uh, but what excited me the most in this was at the heart is a cat and mouse story which keeps you riveted. You know, so when you add all these three actions, you know, you have a sequel, you got a next level coming in because of this fantastic cast that you have, you know, and the kind of slickness and scale that you're getting. And not just that, but a story which keeps you riveted, then I think... After the, after the first one, me and John, we decided to make it into a sequel, but we wanted the best possible story. Unless you have a great story to make, there's no point making a sequel for the sake of making it. Uh, eventually, after a long search, when we met Abhinay and my writer of the film, Parvez and Jasmeet, uh, this story was uh, discussed, evolved, everybody got involved into it, John and then later on Sunakshi, they also participated a lot in the discussions. Uh, what was very important for us to take it to the next level, and we wanted a very able partner which Viacom uh, partner us, partnered us on this one. and uh, But to, in today's time, what is most relevant is the stories which deal with the men from the forces. In India, we have so many forces. We've got 
cops, which is ACP Ashwardhan played by John. Then we've got RAW, we've got NIA, we've got CID, CBI, so many of them. And those stories today are the most relevant, most contemporary, and most connecting with the people. Coincidentally, we found a story which was Abhinay and Parvez and Jasmeet's combined effort to create, which deals with two forces of our complete apparatus, which is cops and raw, and deals with a threat which is a national security threat. And I think that was the best part about the film. And the way we could then take it to Budapest, this was, it, it gave it a very different look. Then we had a portion that was supposed to be shot in China. Uh, we couldn't shoot it in China for various reasons. And so we had to kind of treat it differently and get it done. Uh, but that's there for you to see. It looks fantastic. So that is how the entire thing happened. And uh, the best part about it is that it is genuinely the next level. Well, actually, it looks very um, exciting indeed. John, first force, uh, force one, it was more physical with, with you, John, while uh, uh, the, the way it was more physical and uh, more, uh, you know, individual based. Now, here, it's a different ball game. You're treating, uh, you're actually taking on a geek who's all minds and yet physical. So, uh, how's the experience been? What was the, the idea behind it? I think we wanted a film that was larger. The problems were larger. And, uh, so, the problems in force two are larger. And uh, we wanted a character that's far more evolved than uh, the antagonist in Force One. And um, I think uh, for us, um, Tahir, uh, you know, checkmarked all the boxes for us. And we thought he was, uh, I mean, I saw him in Mardani and uh, Abhinay and I kept discussing about uh, Tahir. And, uh, and finally, I think when we collectively, I think uh, Abhinay and Vipul met him, and uh, I met him too. I had the pleasure of meeting him, and then we got him on board. So I think the the antagonist of this film is uh, far more evolved. Um, and I always say this, you know, the strength is always here, not here. And uh, Tahir has got that strength of character in this film. Um, he's fantastic, and when you actually uh, you know, when you, when you see him, there's portions that I've seen in the film, and I'm speaking offhand. I shouldn't be saying this, Abhinay, but. Uh, I got goosebumps with uh, certain portions of his, and you really feel for this character, which is fantastic. And uh, it's got so many shades and so many layers, so I think he adds so much value to this film, and the antagonist and the character in itself adds a lot of value in this film. Fantastic. Sonakshi, um, so many stunts. Actually, I mean, going shoulder to shoulder with John must be difficult. I mean, how much of a challenge it was to get into uh, so many stunts and actually do it? Can you repeat the last part of your question? Okay, um, uh, just coming to the stunts part, uh, to the action sequences, you've done a whole lot of them. Was it difficult or were you, um, uh, did John actually guide you or you like said, hey, come on, I'm gonna do it this? Was, it was actually a lot of uh, fun for me and uh, it's uh, something that I, I'm, I've actually been very athletic even when I was in school. I used to enjoy playing sports and I feel doing this kind of stuff puts me liberates me in certain ways. So I, I was really excited to do the stunts that were told to me in this film. Uh, I feel like it was just a carry forward from Akira uh, doing the in the action space. And I feel this was the right film to portray a different type of action, more sleek, more, um, you know, stylized, very like amazing car chase sequences, high octane stunts and stuff. So it was really a fantastic ex experience. and. Um, I was matching John step by step, and he was very encouraging. And uh, even though he made fun of me every now and then, but uh, at the end of the day, he appreciated my work, which is uh, what counts. And I guess everybody was happy, so uh, that makes me happy. You know, just, just, just a question which is coming to my mind. Uh, it's easy to romance, or it's easy to beat up someone? <laughs> For me, it's uh, easy, easy to, to beat, beat up, up someone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that All right, Tahir. Whoever told you to become a villain, yeah? I mean, you, you're so good looking. I mean, I, I, you're just looking at you. It is very difficult to visualize. You can, you can easily be cut off as a lead man and looking in, yeah. I think that question is for the producer over there. Who's, <laughs> who's, who's, who's sitting, so and in Mardani, it, it was brilliant, absolutely uh, fantastic. We saw the shades of the, uh, the, with the wicked, uh, you know, the wicked shade of yours. And here, you've actually taken it to the next level. What was the experience like? 
Thanks. Uh, to answer your first question, I really believe that no one is all bad or all good. I like to play characters as if there are shades of bad and good and good and bad. And that's really what attracted me to, to this role. When you Mardani like a picture and you get audience or critics' ka ki appreciation, milti hai, to like everyone is using the phrase, the next step, the big game. It's important to pick a project um, that ups it in, in terms of everything, in terms of the script, the story, uh, the action, and forced to checked all those uh, boxes for me. It was um, a bigger project. It had uh, the opportunity to act, and that's why I took it on. And just to add to where John left off to say that you know he's liked what I've done, I would just like to say that I was only doing my second film, and an actor's performance really depends on how he's treated on set and uh, you know how he's dealt with. And I was dealt with no less than uh, the other stars who are sitting, and I felt like I'm doing my 25th film. So a lot of the confidence that comes is thanks to the people you're seeing um, sitting on stage. It wouldn't have been possible without Absolutely them. special. This is incredible. Also, also, I'd like to add that Tahir played the leading man of the set in Budapest. <laughs> that is true. For that, we have to have a press conference in Oh, house. we'll have a separate one for that. Se se separate conference, <laughs> not, not in front of them. Well, well. Avina must be having a lot of stories. It must be quite an experience for us with John. And you know, you've you've done big screen, uh, big cinema. As in, uh, you've done cinema, you've done television as well with Twenty Four. Now, what was the experience? How different was this? And uh, with the star cast like John Sonakshi, was it difficult or was it? You must be having a lot of stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, why difficult? Correct. Yeah, they are very, very nice people. <laughs> they're not difficult people at all to work with. And no, but yes, it was. It's a. It's a dream to get a film to work with a cast like this, who's dedicated, who actually do not, uh, you know, uh, hold back in whether whether it's action, whether it's emotion, whether whatever the thing is, whether it's late hours, whatever it is, they have been incredible as a cast and uh, the whole team really. Um, and for me, what is amazing is, as you asked me, whether what is the difference between shooting, doing television and uh, features? I mean, at the end of the day, it's storytelling. Uh, that's how I treat it. And uh, if it's storytelling, uh, it should be the same. There wouldn't be any difference, really. Uh, as far as this film is concerned, what really was amazing for all of us uh, was we worked as a team. We worked as one unit and we got each other's back, you know? And uh, for a film of this kind, where there is, uh, we are trying to at every single possible, in every possible way, try to up the game, um, uh, we actually did that together. Whether it's starting from Vipul as a producer, John as a producer, and an actor, Sonakshi, Tahir, Vaikom as a partner, Ajit, all of us really uh, just held each other's hand through it and made it something Quite special, I think. I believe it's it's gone beyond our all, all our expectations, really. Absolutely, just like a dream team. But just a just a thought. Um, you must have visualized uh, one year back before the project started that you know it's going to turn out this way. Has it turned out that way? Better, much better. Yeah, because I think you know when we sit on uh, on piece of paper, when I sat with uh, the writer with uh, with Parvez and Jasmeet, when we were going through it at that point of time, there was a certain uh, feel that we had. You know, and I'm a gut guy, so I keep I kept feeling that okay, this is the right thing to do. This is the right thing. To do. Today, when we finish shooting and we are almost done with the edit of the film, I'm seeing it and I'm saying, all right, this is what we set out to do. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's that's fun. So yeah, I think the expectations it's gone a little beyond. That. Absolutely fantastic, John. Force one, the bike. Force two, the car. Force three, me kya hoga? Let's uh, concentrate on force two. Um, I like lifting things, so. <laughs> Pun intended. I'm a, I'm a pickup truck, so I, I like lifting things. But uh, just to uh, add here, I've, uh, uh, I've been a fan of uh, Sonakshi's. I've been a very big fan of uh, Abhinay uh, since uh, a long time. And uh, I think we met Abhinay before force even happened. And I wanted to meet him, and I chatted with him. And I said, uh, "Will we? Can we work together?" And he said, "Yeah." And that was it. <laughs> and he left on his motorcycle. And I like him because he rides a motorcycle also. Ah. So, <laughs> so we really hit it off. And um, I think honestly, the entire energy on this film, and uh, barring a few, you know, uh, goof ups, uh, you know, barring very few, probably one or two, 
the energy has honestly been very positive and I think when it's very positive on a set, uh, we hope that the outcome is also very positive. So now actually final question. Uh, do you want to do any stunt which you possibly missed out? Is there something you missed out which you want to do it again? Absolutely not. I think I got uh, to do a lot more than I expected to do in this film. Uh, it's uh, like everybody's been saying, bigger, better. And uh, I, I have absolutely no complaints. Usually I would be like, in fact, John was saying the other day that there was this uh, action sequence where I was not supposed to be as involved uh, in the... Yeah, in, in, in the scene, I was supposed to be on the side protecting somebody, but uh, when he saw the trailer for Akira, that's when we were shooting it, he said, no, make her do the action uh, in this scene as well. So, honestly, I got a lot more that I could ask for, and I'm so happy with the way that it's turned out. Fantastic. All right, there you are, ladies and gentlemen, the star cast and the dream team of Force 2, Ekbar Zorda, Talia, come on, everybody. Let's give a big cheer for them. A lot of hard work has turned out really nice. Now, it's uh, it's time for you to ask questions. If you've got a question, please, apna hand upar kare. And um, I want you to uh, make the question. John here, towards uh, your left. John. So, Okay, let's go one by one, all right? Uh, sir, um, aap question puchhe, sir. Ha, ha, John, sir, or Nakshi, ma'am. Sonakshi, Sonakshi. Oh, Sonakshi, ma'am. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. I am Bollywood Web TV from USA. Wow. Oh. 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 Abhi jo Achha, USA, ma'am, I'm Minakshi. Ho. <laughs> Arre, wow, good, good. So, good one. ना सर बॉलीवुड वेब टीवी से मैं और यूएसए फैन की तरफ से आपको इस फिल्म के लिए बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं और हिट होने के लिए बहुत-बहुत हिट हो आपकी फिल्म और और आपसे मैं ये कह सर मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं आप हम मैम से भी और आपसे भी आपने इस हर फिल्म में एक्शन तो किया ही है और अभी भी एक्शन ये फिल्म भी एक्शन वाली है तो आपको action sequence actually used to lift my leg and put it in the car because I was hill not able to at that time. And I Mumbai and came to another operation. So, I had three knee surgeries. Uh, but I think uh, uh, by the end of it, I think the result was um, good for the knee also and for the film also. So, everything was fine. But in action, there is a lot of problems, but it's fun. Uh, John, you. here towards your left. Uh, in force, we saw you lifting the bike and now we see you uh, lifting the car. I remember during one of the promotional events, we had even picked bike, you know. Uh, are there any such plans for Force 2? And uh, is it a conscious decision on your part to, uh, you know, include at least one such heavy scene in the movie? I think Force is about power. And uh, I think it was um, Abhinay and Vipal's decision to uh, continue, uh, you know, the, the character of uh, ACP Yashvardhan. And it was uh, the way they set the, is it, honestly, it was the way Abhinay set the entire scene up. Uh, the only input I had in uh, lifting the car was how my posture looked, <laughs> you know, very honestly. So I give credit to him for, for really doing this. But I think it's important that force stands for certain things. And I think what, um, uh, what Abhinay has done very smartly in this film is not only has he got out the, the power element, but this film also has um, a fantastic story. When you see the trailer, it says uh, dedicated to the heroes who lost their lives. And uh, that's something we discussed. Uh, this is based actually on, if I may say so, Vipul, this is actually based on true events. So by the end of the film, you'll be shocked. So it's a lot, we've been inspired by a lot of true events that we've put together. So there's a lot of credibility in the story. So I think, yes, to answer your question, uh, it's great to show ACP Yashwadan very powerful, but it's also important to have a good story. Do we see you lifting the car, John? John? We are very proud. In fact, we should have done this before. We are talking about LOC, which was the specific targeted. I think uh, it was, uh, it's high time. 
uh, we respond to terrorism. Um, we are, as a country, we are very tolerant. Hai, and I think it's high time we put our foot down and we show what uh, India can do. Uh, hi, John. Uh, John, too. Gee, I am com in complete agreement with John. <laughs> we'll talk about force, too. Sir, yeah. force. Hi, John. Yeah. John and Abhinav over here. Uh, you know, the f opening slide of the film says that it is dedicated to unsung heroes. So what was the thought process in adding the uh, slide in the trailer to both of you? The idea behind that was that uh, when we began the story itself, we were, um, the story is about, as John said rightfully, it's about uh, our idea itself started from trying to give um, a standing ovation of a kind mm. to the people who really spend their entire lives, sometimes give their entire lives in protecting us and our lives. So there are many such people. So it's not about a story of one person. It's a story of, um, you know, many of such lives which have been lost by this country. And we are trying to just give them, from our side, a little bit of, a, a, you know, a standing ovation. That's why the slide is there. Uh, Sonakshi. Ripul, sir, Sonakshi. And one question to you. You know, you are one of the very few producers who is bankrolling three back-to-back -back sequels. There is Force 2 followed by Commando and then Namaste uh, England. So what do you have to say about the culture of sequels in our industry? Uh, a Namaste England is not a sequel to Namaste London. We have clarified that long back. Yes, uh, yes but there are films that you make, like Force. Uh, when we were making the first one, we felt that this is a character which is so strong that we can't just let it die. This character has to tell more stories. And that is how Force 2 uh, took birth. We are taking that character forward. We are we are trying to tell a more important story. As Avinay just said and John just said, that there are so many unsung heroes. We always uh, talk about the heroes which are well-known. Uh, there are certain heroes which country celebrates. But there are so many unsung heroes who give their ultimate sacrifice of their life for the country and nobody notices them. Uh, their stories, their life is not noticed. While we were doing the research on the film, we came across so many of such stories and we decided to dedicate this film to those unsung heroes. So that is how uh, the unsung hero thing came in and to answer your question to why John lifted car and bike. Uh, when, we, when John lifted bike in the first one, there was some reporting done in media that this is only a trick photography and John has not done it. And we were not happy about it because we were not lying. And uh, to his credit, to come in a press conference and lift a bike is actually not an actor's job, but he did it just to show that we don't lie. We are telling what we have done. So, and now it is continuing in this film with a car lifting sequence. So, yeah, so that's what it is. But about sequels, Force is the sequel that is very dear to all of us and now uh, rest of the sequels will talk as we move along. So, Nakshi, yes. Lipika here. Hi. Uh, in your first film, Dabang, you uh, said thappad se dar nahi lagta, and you have you are really justifying it now with Akira and Force Two. So, can we take the privilege of uh, calling you or tagging you as action queen? You must. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate a little. That, did you know that it will be uh, that uh, phrase will be so truthfully uh, showcasing your talent in action? Honestly, um, I'm very fond of action films, uh, which is why even in the past I've been a part of a lot of action films, be it Rowdy Rathor, The Bang, The Bang 2, Son of Sardar. And, you know, I just enjoy watching it as a genre. And uh, every time I would be a part of those films, I would always watch my heroes and be like, you know, when am I going to get to do this cool stuff? And that happened with Akira. And I couldn't be more thankful uh, that it's carrying forward with a film like Force 2. And uh, I really enjoy it, like I said. So uh, I'm in a very good space, happy space. I'm, I, I will work hard uh, to retain my tag that you have given me of this action queen. And I hope that I get to do uh, more films like this as well in the future. Avina? As Khamosh ka kya opinion hai? Khamosh? 
हाँ या वो बहुत खुश हैं वो तो पहले से ही जानते थे कि मैं कैसी हूँ और अब उन्हें स्क्रीन पर देखने को मिल रहा है तो वो बोल रहे हैं अब तुम्हारी असलियत बाहर निकल रही है and he's he's very happy he's very proud अभी नहीं अभी नहीं अभी नहीं here अभी नहीं या left story story Mumbai police के बारे में है इसलिए मैं आपसे पूछना चाहूँगी कि इसमें जो आपका हर्षवर्धन राठौर है, उसने हेमंत किरकिरे की तरह काम किया, जिन्होंने एक्शन किया और मारे गए थे, या फिर जो मारिया थे, राकेश मारिया, जिन्होंने दिमाग से काम किया और केस को बम ब्लास्ट के केस को सॉल्व किया था, जिन्हें राष्ट्रपति पुरस्कार भी मिला। तो ये इन दोनों के बीच में First of all, I will correct you. This is not a Mumbai police film. Our main character, Inspector ACP Yashwardhan, belongs to Mumbai police. The story is not a part of Mumbai police. If I will elaborate on this, I will have to tell the story of the story. But yes, this cop is a character that you have seen in the first part. The first part itself is the first part itself. The first part itself is defined ACP Yashwardhan. He is a very righteous, you know, who is a man, who is a police man, who does the right thing, always. And a hardcore person. And we are going to take the character in Force 2. So, obviously, that character is playing the same role. So, I suppose, I have answered that to you. John, sir, I am talking from Music India. इस साल आपकी जो भी फिल्में आई हैं ऑलमोस्ट सभी एक्शन एक्शन फिल्में ही हैं तो क्या हम मान लें कि आप आपका जो रुझान है एक्शन फिल्मों की तरफ ज़्यादा हो गया है नहीं नॉट नॉट एक्सेक्टली क्योंकि इसके बाद हम ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग डिफरेंट कुछ काफी डिसरप्टिव करने की सोच रहा हूँ � do just action. I like action a lot. It's like second nature to me. I enjoy it. But I also like comedy. I love comedy. I love slapstick comedy especially. And I love all kinds of films and I go and watch all kinds of films. So, Hello. Hi, Sunakshi. This is towards your right. Over here. Hi. Hi. This is Shweta from Bollywood Nazar. I would like to ask you, you have played in Akira एक जो किरदार प्ले किया था और आप फोर्स में एक रॉ एजेंट का किरदार प्ले कर रही हैं तो रॉ एजेंट बनने के लिए क्योंकि यू नो एक बहुत बड़ी हमारे इसकी संस्था इंटेलिजेंस संस्था है तो इसके लिए आपने ज़्यादा आई मीन कितना आपको मेहनत करना पड़ा कोई ट्रेनिंग ली आपने उनकी तरह रिसर्च करके यू नो पूरी जो जर्नी थी आपकी रॉ एजेंट की actually training मेरी mix martial arts की training मुझे इस फिल्म में भी काम आई to do the action in terms of character I think character इतनी अच्छी तरह लिखा गया था और इतना intriguing और interesting character था which is why I did the film as well क्योंकि ये एक लड़की है जो strong headed है उसका अपना opinion है she's an alpha in herself वो अपने आप को किसी और से कम नहीं समझती and वो एक आदमी की दुनिया में अपना काम कर रही है and she is doing really well so these attributes of the character I felt attracted me towards the film and जो raw agent बनना था I think क्योंकि character इतनी अच्छी तरह लिखा गया था क्योंकि मैं अपने director से you know बात करके उनसे समझना चाहती हूँ कि उनका क्या vision है वो कैसे portray करना चाहते हैं इस character को उन्होंने बहुत help की मेरी other than that I think जो कपड़े होते हैं जो जब shirt pant jacket gun का holster आ जाता है आपकी चाली बदल जाती है that adds a lot to the character as well so I feel everything was very well laid out for me to play this character and I'm I'm really happy that I got to do it Sunakshi here towards your left towards your left here you are playing a Pakistani journalist in your next movie Noor my my next movie will talk about next time. <laughs> yeah, uh, the question is, you know, uh, now there has been a lot of objection raised over the inclusion of Pakistani actors in Bollywood movies. Do you think we should encourage uh, the talent of Pakistani actors or the ban is justified? Uh, honestly, I would not like to comment upon that right now, but all I can say is that uh, I'm not playing a Pakistani journalist. The film is just based on a book which was written by a Pakistani author. Uh, it's been adapted to Mumbai and now let us get back to Force 2. Uh, John and Sonakshi, a question to you two here, uh, towards your left. Yeah, yeah. 
this movie is somewhere down the line a tribute to all those brave soldiers who have laid their lives down for India. You know, every time there is a cross-border uh, terrorism attack happening, and when soldiers lose their lives, we see a lot of uh, statement of sympathy uh, condemn, condemning those attacks from our own artists, but none from the Pakistani artists. So that has always been a bone of contention. Recently, Subhash Chandraji of GZ said that he requested those Pakistani artists to condemn the attack without naming Pakistan, but they refused. So in this case, I mean, how, how do you look at it? Is, isn't that unfair on their part? So, um, if I have to answer it, um, I just think it's important about what we do. We are not in a position to opinionate about what the others do or don't do. So, we can only speak for ourselves. Sonakshi can speak for whether she goes through the emotion, whether I go through the emotion. And what we express is solely our uh, opinion. And um, no, I'm just very fortunate to be a part of the film industry no, because I think we really go out there and we express our solidarity with not only our country but with our soldiers. So I, who I again say on record, are the true heroes of this country. Uh, Sunakshi, your viewpoint? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, uh, this uh, whether it gets carried forward or doesn't get carried forward, whether it's reaching us or not reaching us, we don't know. So we can only speak for ourselves and, um, you know, um, do our job, which is to uh, stand by our own people. So that is what we are doing. Uh -huh. What do you have to say Sorry. for your own people for the surgical strike? Soldiers, what do you want to say for the Indian Army? What do you want to say for the Indian Army? What do you want to say for the Indian Army? What do you want to say for the Indian Army? Uh, kehna chayenge, firstly, thank you for saying that you have taken so big steps. And uh, uh, like John said earlier, this was the need of the hour. We have to deal with terrorism. And I'm really happy that finally um, it's happening. And uh, you know, we all, as citizens of this country, as people who live here and who love our country, uh, we are all very, very thankful to them. Just um, to add to what Sanakshi said, first of all, sir, isse pehle jo aapne ek question tha, just to a, a, a slight correction there. It's, uh, correct me if I'm uh, wrong, it's not a story about Indian soldiers. Her country ki ek covert, uh, a, 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 a covert team hoti hai, covert force hoti hai. America mein is force ko CIA ke naam se jana jata hai. India mein se research and analysis wing kehte hai, jiska naam hai RAW. So this is a story about RAW agents, jo Khufia ya Gupt, operations undertake karte hain jiske bare mein public ko aksar pata nahi lagta sir i said it's a tribute to the show sure, show sure. so no just yeah. for everyone it's a story about um, raw about uh, what took place this morning um, by our constitution we are not an aggressive country but in our history it is written that if we are pushed to a limit uh, which questions our freedom um, then we must uh, defend ourselves and i think that it is a defensive act first and then an offensive act and we're very proud Hi, hi. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take one more question Yeah, yeah please, yeah. Uh, hi, this okay, is Mayur here from Sinistan.com. My question is for Abhinay and uh, John. Abhinay, coming to you, you know, your last film, Delhi Belly, came out in uh, 2011. It's been five years since. So can I assume that you were carrying the Delhi Belly for five years? And my question to John is, obviously, you've spoken about uh, the force. And the uh, force also came out in uh, 2011, and it's taken five years for the second film. And uh, five years, suppose if Force 3 comes out five years down, do you think your back will be able to hold up during that time, maybe to lift a uh, truck? I'll, I'll lift this whole <laughs> blessed place. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you are, Force 2. Fantastic. Thank you very much for I mean, being I here. On, uh, just, yeah, like it's taken five years. You know, Delhi Belly was quite very successful. And uh, yeah. five years is a long time to come up with your second film. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't believe that, uh, you know, uh, honestly, Time has got anything to do with it, you know. It's it's got to do with, uh, you know, as filmmakers, we are all, uh, we, we go from our heart. So something that makes ticks in our system is what we make. Uh, and whether it's five years, ten years, or one year, or five months, you know, my probably my next film will be three months from now. You know, so there is no such thing as a time-driven uh, thing. Uh, the script that after Delhi Belly, there were 47 scripts that I read. And, um, you know, and the 48th, which I, uh, which is what I'm working on, to be honest. So I suppose 47 scripts can take a little while to read. <laughs> so that's where the five years went. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the big day is on the 18th of November. Catch it in uh, the theaters. And of course, it's brought to you by Wycom 18 Motion Pictures, Whipple, Amrul Lal Shah, and J Entertainment Private Limited, the music on T series. What a fantastic film it's turned out to be. Congratulations, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, we need all you guys to give love to it and go on and watch it in the theaters. Thank you very much for being here. And it's, it's a photo opportunity with the team. So, guys, go on. Have a great time. Enjoy yourself. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here and supporting us.